that. Okay. All right. Well, what I chose to do my topic on was the sport of golf. It's something that I've played since I was about eight or nine years old. It's really special to me because it's something my dad taught me how to do and something we spent a lot of time together doing. I think it's really fun and it's really relaxing to me. I like to play it more than I like to watch it though because watching it, it can get a little dry sometimes and get a little boring. I think that's one reason people don't like it. I also think people don't like it because it's really frustrating at times. And it's not really a sport that relies on too much athleticism. It's a lot more of a mental game. There's a lot of concentrating on different things to do at once. But I'll start with the, how a golf course is laid out. And every hole starts right there, the number one. That's called the tee box. That's where you start every hole. And from the tee box, you're gonna try and hit it either onto the fairway or onto the green, depending on the type of hole. And this is the fairway. And the grass is really short, and that's what it's kind of the the path to the green that you want to get on. And it, it's really short grass, so it makes it a lot easier to hit your ball on. But if you do miss it, you'll end up in the rough, which is really long grass, and uh, because of the resistance from the grass, it's a lot harder to hit the ball. And you have trees and all kinds of things in your way. And from there, you're gonna try and hit it onto the green, which is the hole right there, and that's where you try and get your ball in the hole, put it in. And there's three different kinds of hazards on a golf course. There's the out of bounds and the water, and if you hit it there, you get a one-stroke penalty. And there's also sand traps or bunkers, which are just big pits filled with sand, and those are really hard to hit out of also. And then I'll talk about the different types of golf clubs now. There's four main types. There's your drivers and your woods, which are those big ones. Your irons and your wedges. And then you've got your putter, which are you just use on the green to put your ball in. And woods, the big ones, they have a bigger head and they're used for hitting the ball a lot further. The irons are a little bit smaller and they're used for medium to long range shots. And these, the wedges, those are for really short shots. And your putter, you just use on the green. And now I'll talk about the different types of holes and how you score in golf. And there's three different types of holes. There's a, there's a par three, a par four, and a par five. And what a par is, is the average amount of strokes it takes to get your ball in the hole. So, like this would be a par three, and they're a lot shorter. That would be a par four, and they're a little bit longer, and a par five, as you can see, are really long. And how you score in golf, there's three ways to score. There's a birdie, an eagle, or a double eagle. A birdie is when you get one under par. An eagle would be two under par, and a double eagle would be three under par. So, if you get it, so if you get a birdie on a par four, then that means you got it in there in three strokes. In most holes, the all the holes, all the pars, they add up to seventy-two. And so the person with the lowest score wins. So if you play around golf and you get five birdies, then your score would be five under. And that's pretty much the basics.